What's up y'all? So I'm here today to do a quick review on the new 2021 Sudo RXP 300. Come take a look at it. So this is one of Sidu's performance skis, the top performance ski that they have, and the most popular ski of 2021. What makes this ski the most popular ski is the redesign on this. They have redesigned this ski from a racer's perspective. The hole has been redesigned to make a deeper V and they've added chimes to the side. The new T3R hole, which has a deeper V design, is meant to cut through water. The chimes that they've added, which you can't see, I'll just have to show you clip to the chimes sitting on the bunks right now. The RXP could be a single rider ski or you can make it a double. One of the main things I really like about this ski is the seat. At first I was thinking maybe I'm not gonna even like it because ergo locks never work for anybody that's below six feet tall and everything. Your knees never, the knees end up only reaching up to here and you have to have some long legs. But this seat, when I sat on it, it allowed your legs to wrap around this whole seat and lock in the rider. And as you can see, I even moved up the seat close because it's adjustable. The backing of the seat adds this lumbar support that I really love. Put on this, and as you can see, there's so many adjustments depending on how big the rider is or how much space they want. But I like mine all the way up to the front so I can be really close to the handlebars. See how my legs are really tightly around here and I don't have to like tippy toe to make me feel like I'm truly holding on. Give this really good lumbar support, this back right here, this lower lumbar support, where you can't slide around. When you're racing or even just riding at high speeds or just hitting chops, you're not gonna be like sliding around back and forth or anything, only if you can feel it, but it has this tacky material that keeps you in your seat also. This is all of the seat, not just padding on the ski. When you remove the seat, all of this comes out. And that's what I really liked about the design that my legs really hold in here and are actually able to use the ergo lock. This is the new advanced ergo lock R. This reminds me of a Kawasaki Ultra. The only thing I really liked about the Kawasaki Ultra 310s was that you felt like you were sitting in the ski versus on top of it. And you didn't feel like you were gonna be bucked off the ski on making a sharp turn. This again is something that I really love about this RXP. So on the RXP, the handlebars are designed to sit low. Now you can upgrade them to the adjustable ones if you want. This actually feels more natural and great for getting down low when you're trying to cut through these waters, especially around some buoys. In the 2021 model of the RXP, they didn't change the display. It's the same as the year before, and I really wish they had put the new display gauge that they have on the GTX on this ski. I may have to do a upgrade on my GTX next season then. The displays come with the trim adjustment, shows the fuel capacity, tells you how many miles you have until you're empty, the speedometer, the max speeds, your RPM, um, also your stat speeds. Just It just has a lot of tech to it. Now what everybody is loving about this and couldn't wait for was they added the BRP speakers. It didn't come in last year's model, but this year you can option to add it. They redesigned the pod casings to fit the RXP, but it's the same speaker and I tested out this speaker and it's pretty loud, same as my GTX. On the RXP models, they don't have the full hood lift right here that gets you to the storage bin, but they do have this big area that can fit a bunch of bottled waters, drinks, cameras, my camp, well, fit my cameras, sunglasses, just a whole lot of stuff that makes it easy to access and also put the waterproof compartment for your phone. It doesn't come standard with the charging port, but you can add that on. 
The foot wells are different from the GTX. The RXPX has double angle foot wedges to help with foot positioning while taking those sharp turns and prevent foot slipping. Now let's talk about storage capacity. The storage capacity on the front bin is about 38 gallons, which can fit a lot of stuff. But the one thing I'm gonna miss when not riding the GTX is the front hood, the easy access of just sitting right here and popping it open and not having to reach over the handlebars and dig in there. But this is how you open it up. You just push this and then it pops open. So this is the issue that I'm feeling like I will have. I'm average height for a female, I think, I don't know. But having to reach down here, deep down in here, and I still can't even reach at the bottom. This is where you store your fire extinguisher and your emergency kit, and where you can put all your dock lines, your bag, you plan on having a picnic, you can put your lunch in here, clothes, towels, and other things. This design is exactly the same as the GTI. I've been given a tip that I should put my dock bumpers, put them here for easy access, so I won't have to be fetching them deep down inside the storage bin. Under the hood, this is where you would be able to fuel your ski. For those that watch my channel, y'all know that I go on a lot of long distance trips and I like to refuel while on the water. I wonder how easy it's gonna be for me to refuel while on the water, but I guess a video will be coming soon. Another feature that they added on to the RXP for the 2021 is the link system. Everybody's been waiting for this because they've come on all the other models before, except for the RXP. On the link system, you'll be able to use all the Sea Dew link accessories. And I can't wait to put my fuel caddy on here. You know, I gotta bring extra fuel everywhere I go. On this model, the RXP comes with the X sponsons. And I can't wait to test these out. Just like on car videos, let's go check what's under the hood. To get complete access to the motor, you'll just remove several of these screws and this whole area right here will come off and you'll be able to do maintenance, do any type of things that you need with easy access. So nothing's changed on the RXP when it comes to the motor. They still use the 1630 Ace, which is seen in all of the sea models. But of course, this one has the supercharger. Another thing that's great about it is the fuel capacity. On the 2021 models, they come with the 18.5 gallon, and it's something that I will definitely take advantage of since the older models only have the 15.9 gallons. I know it doesn't sound like much, but if you watch my videos, you know sometimes I have a heavy trigger finger and I like to travel long distances. So that extra 2.6 gallons in the tank will come in handy. No more anxiety thinking that I'm gonna run out of fuel, but who am I fooling? Cause I'm sure gonna be pushing it to the limits again. I can't wait to break in this ski. Let's go break it in right now. I've got the wetsuit on because it's a little chilly and I can't wait to break in this ski. All right, come on, let's go.